Well, so far so good. But what about sloping faces, as we can see in this wedge block on the left? Well, I'm going to draw this. I'm going to use the Place Shape tool. And I'm going to start at this bottom corner and draw this end face first. So I'll pick a point. The compass shows in view orientation, which I don't want. So I'm going to use E at the keyboard. That orientation, because I'm going up at 30 degrees in that direction. So now I enter my 30 degrees. So I will tab to the angle value in AccuDraw at the bottom of the screen. Enter my 30 degrees and data point. I'm not using any particular dimensions here. Now I want to come vertically downwards, but the compass won't let me come down vertically on an axis because of its orientation. So I'm tempted to use the E shortcut key, but if I do, I still don't have a vertical line. So I have to use something else. And this time I must use the F shortcut key to rotate to the front. So I hit F at the keyboard and my compass rotates to the front orientation, which now makes sense. And now I can press enter for smart lock and find that snap point, click it and snap back to the corner. Now that would have been easier to draw elsewhere. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to tile my views. And I see my original cube there and my original cube here too. So I'm going to move that over. Now I'm going to draw this face in the front view instead. So again, I'll use the same tool. And I'll start from the corner. Use the view orientation. Do my 30 degrees, left click, use F again, straight down. I could also use the view orientation too, and smart lock back to there and there. And there's my face again drawn. Now it's not showing as a filled face here because I've not set this view to display as a filled face. So back to isometric. Let me move that over just a little bit out of the way. Now I just need the rest of it. So what I'm going to do is again use this tool. Now I'm going to go this way and place the sloping face. So I'll start here. Compass is in the wrong direction. I can use E and E. Come across this way, enter a data point. I need to go upwards at 30 degrees. So E and E. Now be a little careful here. I need 30 degrees from the horizontal, but look at the value in the angle box in AccuDraw. It's 147 degrees and change. Look at the orientation of the compass and look at the axes. I can't type 30 degrees here because it will give me entirely the wrong angle. I need 150 degrees actually. You'll see in a second, so I'm going to type 150. And that gets me my 30 degrees. And now if I move over, because this is a shape, it will find that point for me automatically. Left click, find that point, find that point, and I've got my face. So a little more tricky than you might think. Try it yourself and try drawing it with a smart line too. And having done it my way, try it a different way. Start at a different corner for the sloping face and see how that changes the whole exercise. At the top of this corner here, when I use the E shortcut, it rotated the compass about the current axis, which is not what I wanted. So this works well when drawing horizontal and vertical faces, but not after a sloped orientation. Now you need some practice, so I'm going to give you some exercises. This is one of them. You'll find this and some more exercises in a file called Design Cube Orientation Exercises.pdf in your Working Files folder. Just simple shapes to practice with. But I would like to draw this one especially, because you'll be using this object several times throughout this course and drawing it using different methods each time, to the point where you'll realize that technique is everything in MicroStation. And there are many ways to draw the same thing. So please practice drawing in three dimensions this way.